You know who it be, it's your boy Darius D, and you are watching another video of Swad Kid TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well, hopefully all is well with you, and today I'm going to do a nice video, how to style jackets in 2021. So obviously this is winter time for most of us if not all of us depending on where you live in the world today but jackets are essential right whether you live up north like me in the cold harsh winters of canada even though right now it's not too bad at all or if you live down south in the states or warmer countries such as australia and areas in the caribbean and whatnot there's a form of jackets that you all have, whether it be heavy or whether it be light. So in today's video, I am going to talk about how to style different jackets, all right? So first off, let's start off with the question of the day. What is your favorite style of jacket? All right, put that in the comment section down below and yo, I will definitely converse with you in the comments all right so make sure you guys please subscribe and like this video if it was helpful to you and also share with your family and friends so let's just get right into it so when it comes to jackets obviously there's different types so you have your lightweight you have your denim jackets you have uh puffer jackets so you're like your winter coats and whatnot you have overcoats and all that stuff so there's so many different jackets to choose from. I feel as though like if you live in a cooler area, you have more to play with, right? If you're in a warmer area, you're not going to need a jacket as much, but maybe for like in the nighttime when you're doing your runs and stuff like that, you probably would have to use a jacket depending on how you fare with the weather. So what I would say for you guys is also make sure you know your style right but also take into account that not every jack is going to work for you but there's always an alternative one thing i'm trying to get into if you check out one of my other videos way back uh, actually when i first started my channel is our um varsity jackets i actually didn't get my own varsity jacket in high school because i thought they were trash sorry coach but they were trash and like i just wasn't feeling how they looked i wasn't liking it it wasn't my style it wasn't my stilo and i just couldn't get down with that but when you fast forward i end up getting a satin version so like a starter jacket so that one was pretty lit and i also would say that if you go to your vintage shops or if you check on YouTube about varsity jackets and like different uh, content creators who talk about them, they'll show you the breakdown. I don't have one on hand, but it's one thing I'm looking to acquire in the future is a varsity jacket. And I don't know when that's gonna be the case, but because of my sizing is hard to find, but uh, hopefully I can find one for a decent price, right? I'm not trying to go crazy and buy the new ones. I might get a vintage one and then clean it up and then we're all good. But yeah, that's exactly one that I was looking forward to. And I hope you guys are interested in vintage wear or interested in varsity jackets or if you would wear one. And then hopefully you guys like the options that I picked that I styled in this video. And also, one thing that I didn't put in are trench coats and like different types of overcoats. I have a thing, I have two or three of them. And I think every guy and gal should have one because you gotta have a decent formal wear in your wardrobe because a lot of us are gonna go into the professional world or you are going on a date to impress somebody or you're just going upscale events and different stuff like that. You can't wear like streetwear all the time. So I'd say if you want to elevate it a bit or elevate your streetwear with a overcoat or a trench coat or a double-breasted jacket, I would say 
definitely do so so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video because i enjoyed making it for you if you did enjoy it please leave a like please subscribe please hit the bell like it's wwe and show dd that you would care about the channel all right with that said i'm gonna be signing off once again so just chill just chill till the next video because your boy dd is definitely out of here y'all stay suave star trek all right y'all know what time it is it's time for me to voice over so now guess what guys so this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing snow pants actually like cargo snow pants then i'm topping it off with a calgary flames vintage tee i think it's single stitch for all you guys who care about that and I have a NASCAR jacket, so I think y'all should really hop on this wave. I know a lot of Americans are into that, but if you're not American, definitely hop into this. It's pretty dope. You should throw up the Star Trek sign. And I have a Carhartt beanie, and I'm wearing a necklace from APC. So for the next outfit, what we are working with starting with the jacket we're talking about that Zara puffer jacket you guys see me do the review for that earlier and um also we're working with unico the wide fit pants i actually got those for like 20 dollars, so that was a steal in my opinion then we're also working with the uniqlo basic white tee those usually cost 10 bucks and on the top i got a hat from lids Actually, it was on sale at one of their outlets in the States. It is a Houston Astros hat. We don't really respect Houston Astros, but the hat what goes well with the fit. Classic, and you guys know what time it is. Now, we are talking about the Mitchell and Ness Anorak jacket. Caught this a while ago, and it has 3M on it. I got it on sale I got it in a double XL. I would say definitely it fits oversized. So if you want to go choose a size, do that. I go double XL because I'm a tall guy. Like I said, I'm six foot six, so you can use it as a reference. So and I also paired it with a pair of Adidas track pants. Since the last outfit was just regular degular, I decided to take it up a notch. So what I'm wearing is the Fear of God fitted off the dome. The Essentials version. Got a pair of brown Dickies. Pairing it with a Carhartt. So we got the work with vibe. And then with the t-shirt. Uniqlo collab with Doremon. It's not French. It's Japanese. It's a Japanese show. So yeah. That was my last fit. And of course I had the necklace. The bling bling on top.